Hey everybody, I'm Maddie with the Northern Rockies Museum and on this edition of the Learning Railway, we're going to be learning how to bind our own books like this one here and we're going to be making a real feather pen. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to work on is binding our book and it's pretty simple and once you get the hang of it you can make a whole bunch of different styles of books but today we're going to make a really simple one and so what I've done here is I've folded a regular size piece of paper an eight and a half by eleven in half and I've cut it along that fold line and then I folded those two sections in half so I'm just going to do that again to show you guys what to do so again, I've got it's eight and a half by 11, and I'm gonna fold it in half like this, all the way down, and then I'm gonna cut it. Cut it like that, and I actually have, in these bounds here, I have six pieces of paper. Uh, so you wanna do more than a single piece at a time. And I'm just gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to fold this one in half as well. And I'll put these two together. So I've got a good cluster of papers. And now I'm going to hole punch them. So I got a really tiny uh, hole punch here. It's quite small. You can see the um, holes in here are very big. And I'm going to punch it three times uh, down the length of this page here and it can get a little tricky because it is a lot of paper to punch through so you may need some help great so i've got them done so i've got my three sections of my um, book that i'm going to be binding together so i'm going to take a a piece of thread here uh, so you can use embroidery thread this is just some string actually and I'm going to take one of my um, uh, sections of paper and I am going to go push this through and I'm just going to tie a knot to start with just a knot and we want to do a double knot so that it doesn't come loose. Great. So now we've got that there. And now these papers are, they're kind of sort of stuck together. They're not going anywhere. We want to make sure that they're really good. So we're going to open up our papers like this. And we're going to take the end of our string. And we're going to poke it through the top hole. One of the top holes. Like this. Great, so I've got my string through here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thread through the next hole down here. If I can see it. Great, and I'm just going to pull it through like that. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to put my thread over onto this side like that and pull it through and then I'm going to go down to the next one this one right here and pull like that so we've got all the way down to the bottom so I'm going to go over to this side right here and this is good just sewing practice and we'll pull it through. Great, good job. All right, so now we're gonna go back through the spaces that we've missed. So we don't have string going here, and we don't have string going through there. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna put our string through here now. And I'm just gonna cut this end because it's fraying a bit. Right, so we're going to push it through this hole here and through and we're going to go 
onto this side here. And we're gonna pull it through. And finish it off, we're going up through this hole here. Now, if it starts to get a little too difficult, you can't get through because the, um, because the thread is um, fraying too much, then you can use this. Uh, so if you got one of our kits, you should have something that looks similar to this. So this is just a paper clip that I've cut and I've bent one end to make it look like a needle. Uh, if you have an embroidery needle, that's great. That would work just fine too. Uh, this is a cheap fix and it works in a pinch. So I'm just gonna thread my needle here and I'm gonna use it to uh, push through my holes here. Okay, so oops, that's what you guys should have right there. And so now what we can do is we can start our next layer of our book now that those have all been bound together. So we're gonna take our next level and we are gonna put our string up and through the first hole. So I'm gonna thread this again because it came out. And I'm just gonna put it up and through. So it's up and through that, all the way through, like that. And then we are going to tie a knot around the very first loop that we did, the original knot loop. So we're gonna take our needle, we're gonna go through that loop, just like that. So now you've got two of them stuck together. So once you've got that, that knot in, we are going to bring our thread and just like we did with the last one, we're going to bring our thread to the middle page of our second um, selection or binding of paper here. So I'm gonna take my needle, go through that first hole again. Come through. And here we go. And now we're just gonna continue on doing exactly what we did with our last one. So we're gonna go down through this hole here. Down through that one. And this time, instead of going all the way across to the other side like we did on the last one, I am going to loop through this section right here with my needle. So I've looped it in with my needle and then I'm going to come out the other side. Coming out the other side and I'm just pushing my needle through. should have that on the back side and we're gonna go down now. So we're going down to this one, just like we did for the first one. Pull it through. We're gonna go through the loop of this bottom one, through that loop. So we're attached to that book and then we'll come in through this hole. Like that. And then we're just gonna repeat the process back. So I'm gonna go through this hole.
go around onto the other side through there and back up to the last hole here and through. So now you've got these two sections of books that are very, very bound together and good. I'm going to just do two, um, but you guys can keep doing, adding more and more, but we need to finish this off here. And that's really easy. We're just gonna tie a knot at the end. So we're going to loop it around the loop we just made here, loop it around. and tie a knot. You might want to do a double knot. Totally up to you. And here is our book all nicely uh, bound together. All the pages are in place and they're not going to come out. So now we can work on our cover. So you want to find a piece of cardboard or foam board like this and it needs to be um, a bit bigger than your pages are. So I'm just going to place my um, pages down like this and so it is slightly bigger than the edge of my book and then I'm going to rock it over and put it over here so I need to cut off this section over here it's too much so I'm just gonna cut it off with a pair of scissors could use an exacto knife too And we want to mark where the middle is. So I'm just going to um, do that here. So this is about the middle. So I'm just going to use my scissors to mark that. So I just used, I just poked in two uh, dots there and those, that's how wide or thick my book is going to be. And I'm going to use a pen or my uh, scissors here. You could use a pen or something like that, something that's got a point. And I'm just going to draw a really thick line, heavy line into the cardboard so that it indents in. I'm gonna do that twice. So now when I fold my cardboard, it should fold like a book like this. And we're ready for our next step. So for our next step, we're gonna take a piece of fabric and you want your fabric to be slightly bigger than your cardboard piece. And we are gonna glue it down. So you can see here that mine is slightly wider on all sides. I am gonna cut it off on the end here though. And we are gonna put some hot glue onto our uh, um, cardboard and glue our fabric down. So we're gonna start on this side here and I'm just gonna add some glue here and down the side. So we're doing the edges and we're just gonna push that down. And then I'm gonna add some more glue and go along the side of our spine of our book and I'm just gonna press that down again. I'm not gonna put any glue on the spine. I'm gonna start then on the front of my book here. And I'm just gonna do the same like I did on the back. Put a bit of glue down, press it, and finish it off. So you should have your uh, fabric all glued on, and you can use whatever fabric you want. That and now we're gonna fold all the edges in and glue them into place. So we're gonna start with the shorter sides first. So we're gonna put some glue here and we're gonna fold our fabric edges in like this. We don't want glue all the way to the edges, all the way to the corners. So run this down again and fold my fabric over. Now we can do the top and the bottom. So gonna, again, add a bit of glue and start folding. And we'll do it on the other side. All right, and fold 
fold this down too. Okay, so you should have some corners that are sticking up like this. We're just gonna cut them off. on the outside but we need to do the inside still so let's get working on that so you're gonna take your fabric that you have left and you're just gonna lay it out in your book like this and the first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to fold your one edge in so just gonna fold that in make a nice straight line and I'm gonna do this side now too and we want to make sure that when we're folding it that it is not bigger than the book our book cover below and not smaller so that we can see cardboard because it's going to be covering up that I'm gonna do the top now And the bottom. Again, I did not glue the corners because we'll be cutting those off. Great, and now you can cut those corners. So we'll be flipping over our piece that we just made and gluing it in like this. So we can start doing that. So we don't want to glue on the spine just like uh, we talked about before. So I'm just going to glue one side in at a time. And this side here. So we've got our book all covered and we can put our pages into our book now. So I've got the pages of my book. I'm just gonna trim off this extra here. I don't need it. And I'm gonna glue my pages right into the spine of my book. And hot glue is the absolute most perfect glue to do this because that's what it was originally intended for. So I am going to put a bunch of glue down the join of my pages here. Whole bunch of glue and I'm gonna stick it on the spine of my book. Like that and we're just gonna let that dry. So that was really easy. Our book is now all bound and you guys can write in it as you see fit and you can also decorate it. So we think like a nice little rope here would be great to tie it off so it doesn't fly open. You could also put some pockets in here to hold some things if you wanna do that. You could also add a whole bunch of pages in the middle so you have a really thick spine because you have so many things you need to write down. But in order to write things down, we need our pen. So we're gonna start working on our pen next. So feather pens are really easy to make. We're not actually making a quill because that can get quite messy, especially when you're dipping it in and out of ink, but we're gonna make it look like it's a quill. So if you did get our packages, you will have a real Toulouse goose feather. Uh, so this is from a Toulouse um, that the Lehman Exchange owns. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tip of the feather off here and you'll notice that the feather is hollow and you might be able to take out um, some of the stuff from the inside but that's all we need to do so we've just cut that off and then you're gonna need the inside of a pen 
Uh, so I got this one here that I have, and I think it's gonna be too long for my feather, so I'm just gonna cut the end off of it here. Like that. Make sure you don't get the ink on yourself. There will be some ink that comes out. I'm just gonna test fit this here. I'm gonna stick it in all the way up, and that's perfect. It's exactly where I need it to be. So I'm just gonna leave that pen in there, and now we can start wrapping it to make it look more like a quill. So I've just got some string here, and I am just going to glue the end of the string onto my feather, and then I'm gonna start wrapping it. So I'm just gonna glue here, just a little bit and start wrapping. And I'm gonna wrap all the way to the bottom of where the tip of the pen is. Once I get to the tip of the pen, I am just gonna put some glue here. Um, just to hold the pen in place and the string as well. Do a couple of those. I'm just gonna hide all of the plastic part of the pen so you just see the nice pen. And then I'm gonna wrap the string back up um, and this will just make it easier for me to write because it'll be a little thicker, more like a, a real pen. And just glue the last piece on there. And there you go, a feather pen. And so once you guys are done your feather pen at home, there's lots of cool things that you can do to um, embellish it. So a great way to do that is just to put some glue on the actual feather itself and some glitter on there. That makes it look really cool. So you could put some designs. You could also paint some design onto the feather. That's really neat. Or you could put some different types of ribbon on the actual pen part itself that you hold. Um, maybe something a little softer than the rope that we used today. So you guys are all ready to go with your feather pen and your notebook here uh, and you can write away in there. I would love to see what you guys uh, end up doing with your feather pen and your notebook here. I know that I'm going to be using my notebook at the museum in the upcoming weeks. Uh, also in your package you would have got some tea bags. Um, which seems a little peculiar, but those are great for dyeing your pages. So if you want your book to look old, you can put those tea bags in a bucket of water and let them steep for about 10 to 15 minutes, longer if you want your paper to be dark. And then you want to put each individual page of your binding into that tea, pull it out and then let it air dry and then bind them all together. And it'll give it a nice antique look. And you can also dip your fabric in there too if you want it to look old as well. So it's a great addition um, to our class too. Thanks so much for watching this edition of The Learning Railroad as part of the TD Summer Reading Program. This is actually the last edition of the TD Summer Reading Program. Uh, it's been a great summer. Thank you everybody who has participated. If you are watching this later, that's great. You can go to our Teachers Pay Teachers site and check out all of our uh, supply lists and how to's there. I had so much fun making this uh, book with you guys and this feather pen. Uh, and all the other projects we've done this summer, uh, including the animal tracks, the ladybug, uh, the wool carting. There's been so much fun and I have to thank all of you guys so much for joining in. It's been great and I hope to see you guys uh, in our upcoming videos and upcoming projects. We are planning on lots and lots of more fun things in the near future, so stay tuned to our Facebook page and YouTube for that. I uh, hope to see you guys there and thank you so much again.